I started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons the day it released, one month ago today, and I have played every single day for a few hours a day to make content for this channel. So let's go ahead and go over all my progress over the past month. First and foremost, as you guys can see, I have invested a ton into the turnip market. Uh, basically, I'm looking to cash out completely this week because I've invested 5 million bells into it and I'm hoping to cash out for a huge spike price of anywhere between 20 to 30 million bells total. This should mean that I really shouldn't need to grind out any bells for the foreseeable future. I can't see myself needing more than 10 million bells to get my island looking exactly how I want it to look. So basically i'm looking to cash out completely this week my house is something i plan on really working on over the next month or so basically i've done absolutely nothing with it except mess around with different combinations of wallpaper and flooring as you guys can see it's a pretty cool combination in this room and in this room i like to call the bank basically i've just been throwing down all my bells when i sell off my turnips every week it just gets bigger and bigger and after this week i'm not going to even have enough room in this room to store all of them i've caught 34 different types of insects including a few of the rare ones and 35 different types of fish including a lot of rare ones i gotta say i am really happy with how my aquarium is coming along my whole fish exhibit everything looks really really solid it's starting to really come together you can see each of the exhibits are starting to get a little bit more lively as I get more and more fish that goes inside of each of them and generally I think that quite a bit of this looks pretty complete even though obviously I'm missing quite a few fish. Just thinking about the future I think it's going to be really cool to look back on all of the things that I caught earlier on in my Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay and I think it's going to be great to have all of these memories chronicled by making videos on all of them and remembering exactly how long it took me to catch some of these because some of them were pretty big commitments to actually get. Now, looking through the insect exhibit, there's definitely some areas where there's just a lot of life and there's a lot of different insects that I've caught that go in that specific area. Unfortunately, not all of the areas are totally populated though, and a lot of places are looking pretty barren at this point, so I'm hoping it starts to fill out a little bit over the next few months. Wow. Yeah, so uh, like I was saying, some places are a little bit less populated, and some places look absolutely fantastic. I can't believe how good this looks. It really, <laughs> oh man. I didn't expect there to be so much life in this room. This looks fantastic, it really does. And the last thing we're gonna be doing in the museum is checking out my fossil exhibit. Now, just a little bit of a disclaimer here. I actually haven't looked at any of my fossils or any of this exhibit in probably about three weeks now because I wanted to be surprised at how much progress I've made in it and I, I think it's going to be a lot. Just going through this early area over here, it looks like we're only missing two fossils that go on these little pedestals, which is pretty awesome. Oh, man. We're going to have quite a few complete fossils in this exhibit. This is going to look so good, dude. I can't even believe how good this looks. Like, look at all the complete exhibits. This is crazy. Wow. Oh, man. We are so close to having a complete fossil exhibit, like all of them. Man, I knew that we were getting to the point where we had some completed fossils, but good grief, like this is awesome. At this rate, I have to say we'll probably be done with the fossil exhibit unless there's something crazy that happens after you finish up with all the stuff we have visible right now maybe within the next month or two. Taking a look around my island, it's obvious that I'm definitely not even close to being done with it. There is so, so much to do. Talking specifically about flowers, I only have one hybrid right now, and that is going to be the orange pansies right here. I have two of them. The rest of them, unfortunately, even though I've been taking care of these for a couple weeks now, I haven't gotten a single other hybrid, and that's a lot of flowers and a lot of time watering them. It's kind of demoralizing, so I'm hoping we do get a little bit luckier with these in the near future. By far and above, my favorite thing that I've done so far on this island is making this orchard. I think it turned out absolutely fantastic, and I love the aesthetic. I think that the wood pattern that goes on the ground as well as the corral fencing go together very well, and I actually think I'm going to be putting that aesthetic in quite a few different parts of my island and making it so it's kind of a standard look. To be completely honest, I'm not sure if it's going to be perfect by the end of next month, but hopefully we're getting there at least we've got 10 residents including o'hare bam rocket biff monty lucky fauna sherb 
Miranda, and Twiggy. And I really think that I'm happy with quite a few of these. I think Biff is great. I think Fauna is great. I think Lucky's great. Planning on keeping O'Hare for the time being and Bam for the time being. However, I definitely want to get rid of Rocket. I don't like Miranda. I would be okay if Twiggy left. And I also would be okay if Monty left, to be completely honest. If I could get rid of Rocket and then get Goose, I would be pretty happy with that. And I think we're probably going to be focusing on blocking off houses with fences to hopefully keep them in their houses and make them want to leave the island. I know that's not the best way to go about things, but... I'm not time traveling, so that is the way I'm probably going to be going about doing this. Maybe Miranda will go first. Honestly, I'm not sure. I also made this little cliff area with a couple double waterfalls and things like that, and I think it came out okay, but honestly, I'm not loving how it goes with the rest of my island, and it's kind of hard to make the pathing work with it as well because it doesn't path in diagonals like this, so... It's not going to really fit the aesthetic of the town, so I'm probably going to be knocking most of this down anyways, or at least making it into something else, because right now it just doesn't fit very well. I'm pretty sure I have everything that can be built in town, as well as I think Nook's Cranny is going to be upgrading in just a couple days, which is pretty awesome too. At this point, whenever I ask Tom Nook what to do next, he just kind of says, all right, I've given all of my advice to you, you've accomplished a lot, and go figure out something else to do which means that I've basically, I think at least, beaten the game as far as the first storyline of you getting to the island and then making it kind of awesome is concerned. Obviously, when it comes to my island rating, I have a lot of work left to do. My rating actually went down from three stars back to two stars as I destroyed all the cliffs and cut down a lot of trees. So yeah, you know, we'll see exactly what they have to say here. Island's natural environment has a lot of potential trees oh no flowers too many items lying around yeah okay so basically i gotta plant a bunch of flowers and i've got a ton of stuff laying on the ground <laughs> at this point uh yeah we'll figure that out in a little bit isabel i'm gonna have like millions and millions of bells to spend pretty soon so you're probably gonna be thanking me for all that laying on the ground pretty soon here going down the list of all the nook miles achievements i'm definitely missing quite a lot of them but i've also made a lot of progress since the start of the game and i feel like we're definitely coming along nicely on them there are a few like cast master that i'm not sure that i'm ever gonna get because i'm just not that great at fishing but we'll have to see so yeah in the 100 or so hours i've played in the last month we've made a lot of progress in that but there is still so much left to do definitely let me know down in the comments section below how are you guys doing in animal crossing new horizons have you been playing since day one like i have are you taking things a little bit slower or are you farther than i am with a five star town or something like that please let me know in the comments below i'm super curious how far you guys have gotten my goal for the next month of animal crossing new horizons is to first complete the fossil exhibit in the museum i want it to be totally finished by the end of next month the second major thing i want to do is fill up a lot of this empty landscape i've basically destroyed again pretty much everything around here that's just made it totally empty and you know it definitely is fine for someone that's not really focusing on completing their town but now that i'm putting a lot more effort into making things that i'm actually proud of and making my island look exactly how i want it to and i've wanted it to basically since i knew the game was a thing I have a lot that I want to accomplish and having an empty area of my island that is this big is definitely not one of them. And the final thing I'm going to say is my goal for next month is to go ahead and get every hybrid for a specific type of flower. I actually don't even care which patch it is, but I just want to get every single hybrid that a certain flower can produce which really should be that difficult of a goal, so hopefully we can do that too. But yeah, guys, that is going to be about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos down the line, and I will see you very soon for the next one. Until then, have a fantastic day. Peace.